In this video tutorial, we show you how to install Windows 10 on your Mac using Bootcamp Assistant. Let's check it out. So first of all, you need to download ISO file. Just go to any browser and search for Microsoft Windows ISO. Select the first link. Select Windows 10. Confirm. Then select your language. Many languages are available. Confirm and select 64 bit for download I have already downloaded this file you can see it's around 5.5 gigabytes now come to your desktop open spotlight and search for bootcamp Select continue, then adjust the size of your partition. I would suggest you to have at least 100 gigabytes to run Windows properly. My MacBook SSD is 128 GB, so I am only giving 38 gigabytes. After that, click on install. It will download Windows supported files, all drivers related to Windows. It will take some time so I will speed it up. Now enter your password then it will restart into setup of Windows 10. Select language, time and keyboard method. I don't have a product key for now. You need a product key to activate Windows. For now I will select I don't have a product key. Select which Windows 10 you want to install. I will select Windows 10 Pro. Click on next. If you want you can read this license terms or you can just select and click on next. Now make sure you select the perfect partition which is bootcamp and then click on next so now it will install windows 10 it will take some time so i am speeding up the process select your region keyboard layout Let's continue. I don't have a network. And I don't want to set up my Microsoft account for now. So I will skip. Enter the username for your Windows PC. Click on next. You can keep your password for Windows. I'm just gonna skip for now. I don't want any activity history for now. So no. You can accept this if you want Microsoft Cortana. I'm gonna decline it. And for now I don't want any privacy setting to be turned on. So I will turn off all of this. And that's it. Your Windows is installed. Now it will ask you to install Macbook drivers on Windows. So accept the agreement and click on next and then install. 
it will also take some time to install so I'm gonna speed up the process again After installing all drivers, it will ask you to restart your PC, click on yes. So done with the restart, now go to the start menu and select Apple software update. It will check for new software update and there are 3 software update available for this Mac. Select all 3 and click on install. Select yes. It will install some minor updates. Now done with installing windows and updating softwares. Now we need to update our windows 10. For that go to start menu. Select settings. And then go to update and security. Make sure you are connected to a Wi-Fi network. Then click on check for updates. It will check for Windows update. And it will show you that these updates are pending. It will take some time to download updates, so I will skip that part. So after downloading updates, it will ask you to restart your PC. Restart your PC and let Windows install the updates. After restart, again go to settings and check for update. So you are up to date now on your Windows 10. Done with installing Windows 10 and updates. If you want to go back to your Mac OS, then click on restart and hold the option key till you see this menu. So it will ask you for Windows or Mac. Select Mac if you want to load Mac OS. That's it, you are in your Mac OS. Now if you want to change the startup disk, then go to settings, select startup disk. Click the lock button to make changes. Select bootcamp if you want default startup disk for Windows or select Macintosh HD if you want to load your Mac as a default startup disk. Then click on lock button to save changes.